What's up guys? Here again to post my first actual video showing some of my vinyl. Posted the last video a couple of days ago, reply to Mr. Hoffame's thread. Here to actually show some first video showing some of my vinyl. We'll have some more of those in the future. So uh, I thought it'd be a pretty cool idea to start off my vinyl collection video showing the first two vinyl that I ever bought. I bought them together about a year ago. So I just thought it'd be pretty cool to show those first. Alright, so first up, first vinyl ever bought, Slipknot self-titled. Amazing album, especially if you're a fan of Slipknot. No one can disagree with that. This is, this is a really cool thing. It's got a t-shirt in it opens up on the inside it's got a poster I don't feel like pulling it out though it's pressed on green vinyl so that's really cool I actually got this for a really good deal so I got lucky on that one second one bought this along with the Slipknot one about a year ago band called Suicide Silence Suicide Silence is really, I guess, a deathcore band is what they like to be defined as. I really do care less. But uh, this album, not great, but it doesn't suck. It's all right, I guess. It's called No Time to Bleed. I heard their first album, The Cleansing, before this one. And this was really cheap, so I decided to pick it up and give it a try. And it's okay. Not not really amazing, but um, if you like Suicide Silence, I guess you'd like it. Really cool. There was only a thousand of these made, too, and I got number 347, so I guess that's pretty cool. Not too many of those out there. Alright, next up. Paul McCartney's McCartney. Amazing album. If you haven't heard this, you need to check this album out. Song for song, this album is great. Especially the song Maybe I'm Amazed. I love that song, it's such a beautiful song. But every other song on here is great. Good old classic McCartney. Check that out if you don't have it. Alright, next up. Avenged Sevenfold, newest album, Nightmare. This album, not really heavy. I mean, some songs are, some songs are kind of heavy, but for the most part, kind of soft, mid-tempo. But it's still a great album. Don't get me wrong. This has about half the songs on here that feature the Revs, the, the Rev, before he passed away back in December of last year year before last I guess I should say but uh yeah saw Avenged Sevenfold back in September playing with Mike Portnoy on drums amazing live performance if you haven't picked that up go check it out oh and this one is limited to 2,000 copies as well so not a whole bunch of those out there so that's cool to have that Alright, next, I don't want to get any shit from anybody out there on this one. I don't care what you say or what you think if you're laughing about this, I really don't give a damn. Lover boy, loving every minute of it. Found this in the dollar bin at my local Half Price Books about five, six months ago. I heard the song Loving Every Minute of It on here, the title track fell in love with it. I don't care how gay you say Loverboy is. This is a great album. If you can find it, I'd recommend it all the way. It's a great album. Check out the song, the title track, Loving Every Minute of It. That's a great song. Alright, next up. A band not, not too many of you are probably familiar with. Chicken Foot. Good, straight up mock I guess modernized rock and roll band, that's how you'd say it. Sammy Hagar and Supergroup, they got Sammy Hagar on vocals, 
Uh, Joe Satriani on guitar, Michael Anthony on bass from Van Halen, Chad Smith from the Chili Peppers on drums. I heard about them, I guess about a year ago, and I went and listened to one of their songs and immediately fell in love. And I picked this up at Best Buy for only 10 bucks, so go check it out. The song, if you haven't heard of Chicken Foot, after this video, I want you to go here on YouTube, iTunes, whatever, listen to the song Oh Yeah by Chicken Foot. And if that doesn't convince you to go out and buy the album itself right there, I guess all hope's lost for you, but uh, you guys will thank me later. Great album, great band. So check that out. Next, this is actually what's playing in the background right now. Kill Em All, legendary debut album from Metallica. If you haven't heard this album, don't like it, then you don't you don't like metal. Straight up, in your face thrash metal, ripping, shredding guitar solos. It's, I'm not gonna say it's up there with Master of Puppets, because nothing's up there with Master of Puppets, but uh, between this album and Master of Puppets, this comes pretty damn close. I love this album. Song for song, amazing. If you don't have that, you should, should really, everybody should have that in their collection, in my opinion. Next up, the greatest metal album of all time. This one's for you, Mr. Hoffam. Master of Puppets. See it in the background too, right there. Not much to say about this album. Greatest metal album of all time by the greatest heavy metal band of all time. This is the uh, original 1986 Electra Press. It's actually in really good condition for being an original. There's nothing wrong with it. Cover's great, no ring wear, nothing. Vinyl's perfect. So uh, that was a good grab. And uh, last up, for today at least, picked this up about a month ago. Docking, tooth and nail. 80s rock, great, great album. I love docking. Picked this up for I think five bucks at my local half price books. Good straight up 80s rock, song for song for song, I think this album is great. There's not one bad song on here to me. But uh, if you haven't heard this, you should check out the song Alone Again. Yeah, Alone Again, that's on here. That's a great song. But if you don't have it, find it for cheap, I'd definitely recommend picking it up. So that's Doc and... Alright guys, well... That's it for now. I think I'll have a new video here probably this weekend, next couple of days or so. So, uh, as always, comment, subscribe, hit me up if you got any questions. I'll be more than happy to answer them. And keep the vinyl community going here on YouTube. Take care, guys.